Hi, my name is Dr. Sash McBain. I'm a clinical psychologist at the University of Arkansas for Medical Sciences, and I work with our trauma surgery service to support the mental health needs of our patients who are admitted after a significant injury or illness. Today, I'm gonna to be talking to you about our study called Digital Post-Traumatic Stress Disorder Screening, an intervention to meet rural needs. So this study is really wanting to look at how people who've experienced a significant injury um, feel about answering questions about their mental health after they've experienced an injury and after they've left the hospital. We know that people who have experienced an injury are at an increased risk to experience things like post-traumatic stress disorder or depression or anxiety. And we know that not a lot of people really um, get screened for mental health concerns once they leave the hospital. And so that's something that we're trying to change and learn more about how to do that with this study that you might be interested in participating in. So we're asking you to volunteer for a research study about a mental health mobile application, an app, um, that is designed to ask patients about their mental health after leaving the hospital. So we hope to learn more about your thoughts as a trauma patient um, about an app uh, that could screen for mental health and to get a sense of what resources you would want after leaving the hospital to help support your recovery um, and your emotional recovery specifically after an injury. And so I want to take some time to go through what this study might entail. So if you decide that you want to join the study, we'll ask you to participate in a interview. So we have scheduled the interview for 90 minutes. And what we are going to ask you to do is to use an app, which is called Blueprint, to answer questions about your mental health after your injury and since you've been at home um, from the hospital. And so Blueprint will send you an email or a text and you'll click on the link and then it will pop up with questions about your, your mental health and what you've been experiencing since you've gotten home after the injury. We'll then um, record the interviews. So we'll, we'll have you use the app and answer the questions. And then we'll ask you some questions about what you thought about the app, if you thought it was easy to use or anything that you didn't like about it. And then we're gonna ask you more broadly about what do you think about the idea of using an app to answer questions about your mental health? And then ask some questions about what do you want after that? So if you answer the questions um, on the app, what kind of information do you want um, about your symptoms and how do you want it to be delivered to you? Do you want more online things? Would you rather talk to a person? And so we're gonna ask you um, some questions about what you think would be best for people after they've left the hospital and are experiencing some concerns with their mental health. You yourself don't have to have concerns about your, your mental health. We really wanna get a wide range of opinions from people who've experienced an injury. You don't have to participate in the study and this is not gonna impact your care in any way if you decide that this isn't gonna be a good fit for you. The main reason to join the study is to help inform us about how to address the mental health needs of people who've experienced traumatic injuries. Um, some reasons not to join the study might be that you're gonna have to answer questions about your mental health. It's gonna be about 90 minutes of your time. And some, for some people that might be uncomfortable, uh, but we really don't see any, um, any serious uh, consequences of of participating rather than it just being inconvenient or you don't want to talk about mental health. So to summarize, we're asking you to be part of a research study that you don't have to be a part of. It's fully voluntary and it's not going to impact your medical care at UAMS um, if you decide not to participate. And it's not going to impact it if you do decide to participate. Uh, and so below you'll see a form that has all of the details about the study and why we're being why we're asking you to participate. And so there's a lot more information for you to read through to decide if this is something that you want to do. If you do decide that this is something that you want to participate in, we'll schedule the interview with you at a time that works best for you, and we'll plan for 90 minutes. 
the interviews will be done virtually. So we'll do them through something called Microsoft Teams, which we'll send you a link to, and you'll just click the link and it'll be a video session with me and someone else from the study staff to ask you the questions about the app. We'll ask you to tell us what you think about it and to get any of your opinions. And the session will be recorded. The reason that we record it is we wanna make sure that we're capturing everything that you're saying. And even if we're taking good notes, we can't always do that. And so we record the sessions and then we'll look at them later and transcribe them. So we'll type out everything that we said and then we'll use that to bring everybody's opinions together and to make decisions about what people thought about the app and about um, mental health services virtually. You can skip any question you don't wanna answer um, and you can end the interview if you decide to participate and you start answering questions and you feel like you don't wanna do it anymore, it's not a good fit, let us know and we can stop your participation. One thing that uh, we do require is that this, if you complete the interview, which again will be about 60 to 90 minutes, you're able to answer the questions on the app and you answer our questions in the interview, we will provide you $100 to say thank you for your participation. We do need you to participate for the full time in order to get, to get the money. Um, they there are no alternatives to participating. So um, if you don't, if you can't do it as the study is, then we don't have any other way to participate. And you will need to have access to uh, a phone and uh, something else to be on the, the interview with. So you might need to have two devices so that we can see you and we can see you interacting with, with the app. Um, so we need to have two devices to make it a little bit easier to participate. And we can problem solve that if you decide that you do want to participate. We'll be collecting some general information about you. So your name, your address, your telephone number, um, and some other demographic information. And that's really just to make sure that we can get you, um, get your payment sent to you and that we are, have, we make sure that we have the right person um, participating in the study. Um, there's more information in the consent form that you'll see as you scroll down. All your information is kept private. We assign you a participant ID, so your name isn't attached to anything, and we make sure that we adhere to confidentiality as much as we can. Um, we do keep some of your information until the study is completed, but once we have the transcription or the typed out version of your interview, we delete the, the video recording, so we won't have that. That'll be something we have temporarily until we can make sure we get thorough notes on the conversation and the interview. And if you have any questions before you consent into the study, which you'll do down at the bottom, you can give me, Dr. Sasha McBain, a call. And my phone number is 501-214-2499, extension 36217. And that's down at the bottom of the form if you need that number again. I hope that you will consider participating this is something that we're going to be using to generate ideas about how to best serve the mental health needs of our patients who are served by UAMS after an injury, which we know can be a very life-changing thing. And we wanna make sure that you're getting the absolute best care and that people in the future are getting the best care. So we really hope that we can get your participation and get your opinion so that we can make sure that we're providing the best care to those served by UAMS. Thank you.